Good morning, Wolf Pack. I'm Gabby Bonbon. And I'm Sterling Lede. Today is Thursday, March 3rd, and we're here with your morning announcements. The Serve to Change Lives speech contest applications are due tomorrow, March 1st, March 4th, and the actual contest is next Thursday, March 10th. Check your synergy for more information. Is there a teacher on campus that you want to recognize for demonstrating our IMCO principles? If so, stop by the leadership room and fill out an IMCO teacher edition slip. That teacher will then be entered into a drawing for the next staff meeting. Juniors and seniors, ball and prom tickets are on sale for the rest of the month. The dance is on Saturday, April 9th from 7 to 11 p.m. here at CO. Tickets cost $45 and formal attire is required. There will be food available to purchase. Don't like to dance? Don't worry. There will also be a game room and movie room. Speaking of prom, Culinary is hosting a fundraiser dinner to help raise money for junior prom. Tickets can be purchased at the student store or with the school site controller. With purchase of a dinner, you will also get a prom ticket. There will only be 100 spaces available for the dinner, so get your tickets fast. Email Ms. Henderson for more information. Now let's check out a recap of Kindness Week. Name one prominent black movement. What did you say? Name one prominent black movement. Civil rights movement. Yeah, yeah, that, that counts. Yeah. As Term 3 comes to an end, many library materials will be showing up as due. For your textbooks and novels, hang on to them until your teachers tell you to return them as a class next week. For scientific calculators, those don't need to be renewed and are checked out for the rest of the year. Non-scientific calculators do need to be turned in or renewed. For AP textbooks, hang on to them until after your AP exam. After your AP exam is done, you can return them to the library anytime the library is open. Now let's pass on over to Josiah and Dylan for your sports update. What's crack a lack in Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards, and welcome back to your sports update. For those of you who couldn't watch the show on Tuesday, we're going to announce the winners from last week's track week right now. Uh, first, we have Lehman Benson winning first in the boys' 100. Up next, we got Anaya Bishop winning second in the girls' 100 meter. Not only did she win that, she also got second in the girls' 200. In the boys' 200, we got CO going first and second with Andrew Bishop and Mason Baloney. We also have Joseph Garcia, who won first in JV shot put with a throw of 41 feet. He also got second in JV boys' discus with a throw of 105 feet. Now in girls' shot put, we have Elizabeth Byers, who got second with a throw of 26 feet. Great job, Wolfpack. Good way to represent. In girls' softball news, our team won their first game against Christian Brothers 11-10. Hey, speaking of softball, we got the two team captains here with us for a live interview. No way. Here's Bella Robinson and Haven Figueroa. Yeah. yeah. Okay, for the first question, you guys just came off a great victory. How do you wish to continue that success? Um, I think we're going to continue that success by um, keeping our bats going because that's how you score runs and um, keeping our energy up because that's what got us through that last game. Nice. What are you guys most excited for about the season? Um, I'm most excited for our senior night just because in like the years before, it seemed like a very memorable time with like your teammates and your family. Nice. So you guys have been in softball your entire high, your entire high school career. Uh, and you guys are finally team captain. How does it feel to lead your team through this season? Um, it feels right. It feels well-deserved. Um, we went into freshman year kind of like hoping and thinking this would happen. Um, so yeah. Cool. Uh, finally, what is your end goal for the season? Um, the goal for the season is to make it to playoffs and do really well there. Um, I can't wait to see how uh, the relationships between our teammates goes on and off the field. And it's just my last time playing, so I hope it's a memorable one. Gotcha. Well, that concludes our live interview. And thank you so much for joining us. Make sure to come out and support them for their first home game today after school against Antelope. Well, well, fact, thanks for tuning in to your sports update. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors.
Thanks, guys. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Gabby Bonbon. And I'm Sterling Lede. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National of Pets Had Thumbs Day, Wolf Pack.